Hi, I'm Haley, and I am the pattern designer here at Seamwork. And today I am going to take you on a little tour of my home sewing room. So I live in a fairly small home with my husband and my daughter, and every space is kind of multifunctional. Uh, the space I'm going to show you today has a bunch of different functions. It functions as my home office, my husband's home office. Um, it's my sewing space, and when we have guests, it is also our guest quarters. Um, the couch I'm sitting on pulls out into a bed. Um, but I've had to learn over the years how to fit my big hobby slash job into a small space while still maintaining my sanity as I'm a fairly neat person. So I'll show you the method that I use to just keep things fairly streamlined. Okay, so this is my sewing corner. Um, right here I have my table, it's just like an Ikea table. Um, I keep my sewing machine and my serger out at all times. I find that having them out um, makes it easier mentally, physically for me to get sewing even when I only have little nuggets of time. Um, so this is also my desk so I work from here as well. Behind me I have this little storage cabinet which is mostly like home storage, um, but I do have this basket here right within arm's reach. This is where I keep my current sewing projects and I also keep my toolbox in here. I keep a really simple toolbox. I believe in having less tools, but really great ones. Um, but they all fit neatly into that little box there. And then just the few projects that I'm currently working on. Um, so in here right now I have like some rope for rope bowls, which I'm really into making at the moment. I have some like overalls that I'm hemming. And then there is a uh, Clyde, Elizabeth Suzanne Clyde jumpsuit that just needs like an armhole binding for like the last month. So, um... <laughs> That's relatable, right? Um, so that's all in there. And along with all of like the thread and notions and stuff, I like this method because it makes it so that if I feel like sewing, I don't have to dig around to get all of this, you know, stuff I need. It's always within arm's reach. Also, that makes it a lot easier to pick up. Um, most of my storage for sewing is in the garage just because I don't have a lot of room in the house. I have big Rubbermaid containers. I keep my stash and my um, more like specific sewing tools that I don't use as often. Um, and that honestly suits me just fine because it allows me to focus on the project at hand, which um, keeps me more just focused in general. Um, something I like about my sewing room that I think I'm a little bit spoiled by is behind me I have a TV and so I will watch Netflix while I sew, um, which is like feels so indulgent. Mix in like, you know, uh, like a beverage and it's um, might be heaven on earth. So <laughs> it's like my little retreat away from life and baby and all of that stuff. Um, so that's one part of my sewing room that I really appreciate. Next, I'm gonna show you kind of my runoff storage in my closet. Okay, so here's kind of the final corner of my sewing room. Um, this half of the closet is kind of like my storage. Um, my husband uses the other half. Um, I like have my wedding dress in here. Um, and then I have this little storage cubby unit. Um, the bottom two is just like paperwork and like, you know, like the boxes from your phone that you save for some reason, that kind of stuff is like hanging out down there. Um, but the top two are my runoff sewing storage. Um, down here I have, these are um, fabrics for projects that are like in my sewing queue that I think I'll probably end up sewing and like, the next six months or something. Um, and then here I have um, 
a few patterns that are printed and cut and um, that correspond to fabrics that I have in this box here. I also have my steamer and my iron. The ironing board is like hanging out in here too. And then up top, I have um, this shoe box, shoe box that holds all of my thread. Um, I've been using this shoe box for my thread for probably 10 years. It's all sorts of busted. My thread is a tangled mess in here. I'm not going to show you. you. You'll have to take my word for it. But it's kind of like my secret sewing shame. And definitely the one of the things in my sewing space that um, is on my mental to-do list to upgrade. So thank you for stopping by and letting me show you my sewing space. I'm curious to know if you sew in a small space too, what are your tricks and tips? I'm dying to learn some new things, so let me know in the comments below. I will see you next time. Bye.